Now we are going to look at how we can automate Windows GUI dialog boxes using a tool called Auto IT, right? So basically, um, Selenium is made for uh, web applications, right? So within web applications, also you will face scenarios where uh, a Windows pop-up comes up, right? So it's a Windows dialog box, not a HTML dialog box. So when this uh, non HTML pop-ups come up, right? So Selenium cannot handle that because there are no elements which you can identify on those on that particular window, right? So in these type of cases, you needed some external tools which can automate this window dialog boxes, right? So auto IT is such a tool, right? It, it's a freeware, basic like scripting language, right? Uh, which is used for automating the G Windows GUI, right? And also for general scripting. Now, it uses a combination of mouse movement, keystrokes, uh, window control manipulation to automate tasks which are not possible by Selenium WebDriver, right? Now, why use Auto IT? I, as I already explained, Selenium cannot handle the Windows GUI and non HTML pop ups in application, right? So that's when uh, the Auto IT comes into picture. Now, common scenarios in your application, in any web application, whenever you want to upload a file or you want to download a file, it will always open up a Windows dialog box, right? Where you can select a file for uploading from your Windows directories. So that's a Windows dialog box or Windows pop-up. You cannot handle that using the um, normal Selenium methods. So at that point of time, you will go for auto IT. So um, let's, have a look at how we can use auto IT, right? So before that, so uh, this is the application, this is a um, kind of sample application which I'm going to use. And there is something called upload new photo, right? So this is uh, the scenario where we will require auto IT, right? So when you click on this upload new photo, right? It asks you to select an image. And when you click on this, it will uh, open this windows pop up, right? So you need to handle this using auto IT where you will select a file and you will click on open, right? So that the file is selected. That's all we want to do with the auto IT and remaining things can be handled with Selenium, right? So uh, saying that, right? Um, now, where do you get auto IT? So you can download um, auto IT pretty, uh, actually set, up, set it up on your PC very easily, right? It's a normal, um, it's a normal Windows uh, EXE, so you can easily uh, download and install it, right? You just need to follow the instructions given on the screen, right? It will look something similar to this, okay? So this is the Auto IT page, and when you go to the downloads, right, uh, you will find uh, here Auto IT full installation, right? So you can download this Auto IT, and then you can also download the editor, right? So this tool has both um, the capabilities, so you can write the script using the editor, or you can use uh, its recording tool to record your actions, right? I'm going to um, use the editor to write the scripts, right? So go ahead and download these two, um, two applications, right, from here. And once you download and you click on install, it will install both these um, tools, applications, right? So when, once it is installed, if you go to your Windows menu, right? Under Auto IT version three, you will see a lots, lots of different uh, Auto IT uh, uh, applications, right? So there will be Auto IT window info, and we are going to look at it, and also compile script, run script, right? So script editor. So let me open the script editor now. So let's create a new file now, right? So, so this is the script editor, right? And if you want to open, uh, there is something ca called as, so if you go to tools, right? And let's check this out so where uh, there's something called windows uh, info right or not windows info like auto it info which gives which works like a um it works it shows you uh, the elements present on the windows dialog box right so um 
let me open it from here. Uh, I cannot find it here, right? So auto IT version three, under that you will find auto auto IT window info, right? So this is the, it's kind of spy. Like um, if you have seen the UFT or QTP, it's similar to that. But in this case, it spies on the Windows dialog box, right? So let's go ahead and open our Windows dialog box, right? And you can click on this finder tool and drag it to the control which you are trying to identify, right? So if I go here, this is a edit edit class field, right? So the class is edit, the instance is one, right? The title is open and the class ID is th this, right? So these are all the properties of this particular um, file name edit field, right? You can use this to enter any file, in, file name into this field. Similarly, um, if you go to open button, right? If we want to click on this open button. So the title is open, class is button one, instance one, and the class is this, right? So these are the properties which you can use to create a script, right? Uh, and you, these two tools you will use, like the window info and then the script editor, right? So how do you um, write your script? So what, what we want to do, we want to come here to this particular field, we want to enter a file name, then we want to click on open, right? So these are the three lines of script we, we want to write. So let's see. So as soon as you write something, right, it uh, gives you all the commands which are currently available here, right? So, so as you can see, there are lots of command, right? Um, let's use control focus, right? So what it accepts, uh, it accepts a title, a text and a control ID, right? So title, so we want to focus on um, on the edit field. So let's go to the edit field again. Right, so this is our edit field. And so our title is open, right? Uh, we don't want any text in here, right? Then we want to pass a control ID. So we can use, um, so control ID is like the class and so basic control info, right? So this is the control ID. So it will be edit one, right? So let's enter edit one here and that's it, right? So after that, what we want to do, we want to um, write some file name into that edit field, right? So, but before that we will um, do something like, uh, okay, yeah, so windows weight off. So we will put some weight here so that it, it comes to that field, right? Now control edit. So just a minute. So there is console, there is control click. And yeah, control set text, right? So to set any particular text, again, it will be open, right? And then uh, this, we don't want to, yeah, so this will be again, edit one. And then what what is the path you want to pass here, right? So that it will be. So let me find the file. So this, this is one image file, which I want to upload, right? So, I will take that. So let's give that file name here. So it's python.png, right? Now again, um, I'll use some wait time here just to make sure it is in sync. And then I will again, control click on the 
open button, right? So let's drag our tool here. So this is our open button. So again, title is same. And we don't want any text here. Control ID will be button one this time, right? And so there is nothing, uh, we don't require anything else here. So this is a kind of uh, statements which you need to write, right? To perform this particular operation to upload a file into this, right? So this is the, you, how you can use Windows Info to identify uh, the control information and the window information, right? And use it in your scripts. So this is the auto IT script. Now we need to compile this and make it, uh, convert it into an executable, right? So into exe, which we can then call in our Selenium script, okay? So let's do that. Before that, um, instead of win wait, right, um, I would rather use sleep here, which is more appropriate. Uh, Windows wait might not work sometimes, right? So let's use sleep. Okay, so this is our um, this is our script. Now let's save it first, right? So save it in our drivers, and I will call it file upload. So this is a auto it dot au three file, right? So file upload, and then you need to go to tools, and you need to do a compile. Right. So once you compile this code, it will create an exe file after compilation. Right. So, yeah, so it will ask you here, right, uh, different output type. So my output type is exe, my source is AU3 file, right. And then if you, can, if you want to choose 64 bit version, you can choose it. I will go with the default, right. Now, compile script right so it will now store this compilation file into it will convert it into an exe file right so if you want to verify um go to that location and okay so here is our uh, script and here is our exe file right so now let's go back to our project, Selenium project, right? So I already wrote the script to go to this page, right? And uh, click on this upload new photo and click on it. Oh, I've done all this through the Selenium normal methods, right? So just using driver.element uh, dot click, right? And same here, I'm just passing the X path here. I don't want to spend uh, time on this video um, doing writing all the Selenium scripts because this we have already done, right? Uh, I'm just going to focus on how you can automate this part, okay? So we have already written the script to perform the required operation here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to execute that exe file here, right? So you can use something called runtime dot get runtime dot execute right and here uh, you can pass the file path so our file path is c drivers and image upload dot exe right so this is our path this is going to throw an exception right so we'll just surround it with try catch block um so this is all right uh this is a java way of executing any um executable file right so we are calling this method execute from get runtime and we are passing the path here so c drivers c drivers file upload right so let me just correct this so this is our whole script. So this will automate the file upload part from the Windows dialog box, right? Windows pop-up. So let's go ahead and execute this and we'll check it out whether it's working or not.
so if you want to make any changes to your script right you can directly open it in the script editor and you can save save it and again compile it so it will um, replace that exe file and you can directly use it right so no need to create it from the beginning you can just edit and compile it again right so it's going to open this it entered it entered the path and it uploaded the file here right after this um, using selenium you can easily save save uh, click on save button and your file will be uploaded right so this is how you can use uh, auto it to automate the windows pop-up right or windows gui within selenium right so we are using a selenium script but we are calling a auto it executable file to automate our windows pop-up or gui so there are many other tools um, but auto it is one of the uh, favorite tools among uh, selenium testers so you can easily use it in different scenarios right so that's all um, i wanted to show you uh, in this particular uh, section so now uh, in the next part we will be looking at um, some of the other selenium concepts where like um, how you can execute your scripts in a remote web driver or a headless browser like so chrome also provides a headless browser so we are going to look at that right